Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. Okay, I'm so excited. We have the 4th of July this week. So happy early 4th of July. And I hope you guys all stay safe and have such a wonderful time. So this week is super special. I'm going to read you a quick story called Not But Not the Hippopotamus. But I'm also going to show you an awesome science experiment you can do at home that's called Milk Fireworks and a super cool firework craft that you can make look like fireworks in the sky with some arts and craft supplies. So before we get started, let's get into our good morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, now let's start off by reading our book. This one is a very cute book by Sandra Boyton called But Not the Hippopotamus. A hog and a frog cover in the bog, but not the hippopotamus. A cat and two rats are trying on hats, but not the hippopotamus. Nope. A moose and a goose together have juice, but not the hippopotamus. He seems kind of a sad and alone. A bear and a hare have been to a fair, but not the hippopotamus. And if you guys don't know, a hare is another term for a rabbit or a bunny. Now the hog and the frog are out for a jog. With the cat and the rats in their new running hats. Oh, look at those cool running hats. While the moose and the bear and the goose and the hare are doing their best to keep up with the rest. But not the hippopotamus. Then the animal pack comes running on back saying, Hey, come join the lot of us. And she just doesn't know. Should she stay or should she go? Oh, see, now they came running back and says, come join us. But yes, the hippopotamus. Oh, now look how happy the hippopotamus is for being included. But not the armadillo. Uh-oh, now they're going to have to include the armadillo friend too. Well, that is such a cute, fun story. Now, I wanted to read a quick story today because I have two awesome 4th of July theme craft and science experiment for us to do. The first one, if you guys have paper at home, I have a black piece of paper here and a toilet paper roll. And then if you have scissors and paint, that's all you need for this craft. So. You take whatever paper you have, if you have construction paper, I wanted to use black so it's kind of like the night sky. And then you, the parents, you guys are going to want to cut for the kids, unless they're older and you can trust them with the scissors and watch them cut, cut strips. And I just cut about the same length into the toilet paper roll, like this, and so it turns out like this. Now, next what you do is take whatever paint you have and I just use, you can use a plate, I use paper plates for the kids at school and put some paint on there and I kind of did mine tie-dye and just mixed a few colors and swirled it around and then you let the kids use this as their paint. Instead of a paintbrush, we use this to paint with. And so they dip it into the paint and then they press it down on the paper. And I'm gonna show you an after effect to show you how awesome they turned out. I have two here, one on black paper, and then I added glitter before the paint dried. See how pretty? It looks like fireworks in the sky, and I did one on blue paper. 
So it looks like beautiful and the glitter just kind of makes it like sparkling fireworks. So I love these, they turn out beautiful and they can all look so different. Every kid can make a big cluster with some little ones and look like big firework and little fireworks in the sky. And it's just a super fun, simple 4th of July craft. And then this is an awesome experiment called Milk Fireworks. And for this one, you start off with some milk. You can use a small bowl or a cup. So here's my milk. And you need food coloring, some Dawn dish soap, some Q-tips. So that is our materials. So once you have your milk, I would suggest again the adults helping for this and for the part of the food coloring just so the kids don't get dye on their hands. So drop a couple droplets of food coloring into your milk and it works best if you use a couple colors and that's what's going to make it look really really neat. So use a couple different colors just because we're doing 4th of July I decided to do red and blue. Okay now here's what it looks like so far. So pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna turn my camera around for this part so you guys can see the experiment in action. But this is the next start to get ready. You're gonna want to let the kids dip their Q-tips into the Dawn dish soap. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. Get nice and coated, okay. So see Dawn dish soap is on there. Now the dish soap has a reaction with the um, food coloring in the milk. And I'm gonna turn my camera on so you can see. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Whoa, and it looks like it's exploding. So it looks like fireworks are exploding. And it only works like the one time. So if the kids want to get another dry Q-tip and add a little more um, Dawn dish soap and do it again, it is so much fun and it's just really fun to talk about the reaction and watch the colors explode like fireworks. So I hope you guys enjoy that experiment. It's so much fun with the little ones at home and you guys have such a wonderful and safe, safe 4th of July weekend. I miss you guys all so much. Bye.